Uh, hello, everybody. I am Alex. Um, I'm a OSM mapper up in Maine, and I wanted to give an update of the state just so that we didn't feel forgotten about up here. Um, quick reminder, this is Maine up in the top right. Uh, and I wanted to share just a few things I was noticing as I was panickingly scrolling around before the presentation. Um, one thing I just noticed was cities names showing up in Maine, but not in New Hampshire. And I thought that was really interesting. And then also uh, I was up here looking in the middle of nowhere, noticing there weren't any names. And I was wondering about that. And these were just things I was gonna check in on uh, after. Um, my origin story is I had, uh, I was a normal Google Maps user, uh, got fed up with advertisements, decided I was never going to use it again. Uh, came to uh, download Osmond and tried to use it for navigation, couldn't get directions to anything uh, except a town center or a road. And to my dismay, I found that there weren't any addresses in Maine in OSM. And I thought, oh, I could go back to Google Maps, but I am stubborn. Uh, and I thought, well, I'm a programmer and I'm unemployed, uh, so I can fix this. And I spent the next year uh, doing my darndest to import um, all of the E911 addresses from the state into OSM. Um, and there were some parts of that, uh, I made every mistake that I could along the way and I learned from them uh, and uh, hoping to do more of that work. Um, some of the issues I had along the way, the I was hoping to validate addresses with municipal boundaries and then I, you know, verify that if an address thinks it's in Portland, make sure there's a boundary around it that's Portland. Uh, and then I found that Maine did not have municipal boundaries that I could trust. And I was hoping to validate addresses against the roads that they were next to. If I'm importing an address on Main Street, there better be a street next to it named Main Street. Uh, and when I looked into all of those issues, I found that uh, the roads in Maine were bad. So I couldn't validate against towns. I couldn't validate against streets. So all the addresses just sort of went in as is. Um, and that's uh, there were some issues along the way. Um, uh, one of them is that I uh, reviewed a small sample of the data and assumed that the quality of that was representative of the entire state. But what I reviewed was my town. And since each town was providing their own data, uh, issues in other towns popped up that I wasn't expecting. Here's an example where all the addresses on a road get smushed in one direction and who knows why, uh, but these were regional issues. Um, another issue um, might be addresses getting not aligned with buildings, but are nearby. And this, uh, this met my needs. I was hoping to get driving directions somewhere and to get close enough to a building. Uh, and so I'm happy with that, how that turned out. Sometimes I left notes saying things in areas needed to be fixed. Um, there are still some lingering issues from the import. Uh, I have since then, with some help from a gentleman in Rhode Island, imported all of the municipal boundaries in the state of Maine. And with municipal boundaries imported, I could verify old addresses they imported and I found out they are not great. Um, some of the city's uh, tags or the, yeah, address postals the city tags on the addresses don't match the municipal boundaries they're in, so I'm going back and slowly working through there, those. At the same time, there's also a refresh of roads in the state of Maine. Um, I'm using the E911 data set for that and they're uh, comparing against uh, OSM roads and finding differences. That's also made easier um, using some tools. Here's Geofabric's address inspector. This is highlighting all of the bad addresses that don't match streets nearby, but these addresses came from an authoritative source. So really this is showing me where streets are a problem. This is one of the things I'm using. Um, along the way, uh, had a variety of data issues, which I think time-wise I will skip. Um, other stuff that's happening in the state of Maine, uh, I've had some luck reaching out to local um, land trusts in the hopes of getting those properties imported into OSM and uh, encouraging outdoor recreation. An example of that is the Presumpscot Regional Land Trust, which is near me, uh, was very happy. They shared all of their properties, including trail details, and I got these imported into OSM. Uh, very happy with how that turned out. And I'm trying to 
use that as an example to approach other land trusts in the area. Uh, sometimes they don't get back to me and that's okay. Um, other stuff that's happening in Maine, we have, uh, I've been trying to watch all of the changes in Maine and be sort of a filter for, uh, not filter, a welcomer for new mappers and make sure that they have a place that they can ask questions and show them where resources are. Um, a lot of this uh, I spent about a year doing uh, and since then I have now gotten a job being employed. I have less time for all of this and so I've been taking a little break from OSM. Uh, but that is the update on Maine and I think that's been about five minutes.